You can never go wrong with a clean white upper on an Air Force One and this pair is no exception. The grey detailing on the heel, tongue tab and midsole are very, very light. <laughs> Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Quick Scopes. Today we have the Air Force One Dual, and this pair is in white, dark, smoke gray. Let me take this opportunity to ask you to like, leave your thoughts, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Ah, uh, yeah, purchase links for these in the description. Stay tuned for the on foot. So, yeah. Let's start from the soles up. So we have a white outsole. We have a white midsole, midsole stitch, dark smoke gray, Nike Air and Strip. And then we come to this upper. So this upper is composed of white smooth grain leather. And if we start from around the toe, you'll see that we have this white smooth grain leather around the toe and on the toe box. There's a slight texture to this material, but it's not the finest leather that I've come across. Going up the shoe, you'll see the same material on the upper in white and we have some white laces to the thickness that I like. These white laces conceal a white ripstop tongue and at the top of this tongue you'll see that we have a white tongue tab with dark smoke grey for the Nike Air. Taking a look at the mid portion of the shoe you'll see that the mid panel is the same as the rest of the upper, that white smooth grain leather and then we come to the swoosh. So the swoosh is a dual swoosh as you can see and this is in white, it's not transparent, it's a hard plastic as you can hear. The foxing is the same as the rest of the upper in that white smooth grain leather, as is the heel of the shoe, which has some grey deboss detailing for the Nike Air. If we take a look inside the shoe, you'll see that the sock liner is white, as is the insole with that smoke grey detailing for the Nike Air. Let me know what you think of this pair. For me, they're clean. This one is a clean one. You can never go wrong with a clean white upper on an Air Force One and this pair is no exception. Nice, it looks good, clean, tidy, the, everything just looks pretty cool on this pair. The grey detailing on the heel, tongue tab and midsole are really, really light. I'm not sure why it says dark smoke grey on the box. They don't take anything away from this white upper. Very subtle little details right here. The swoosh is an interesting one, of course, not just being a dual swoosh, it's the fact that it's opaque on this occasion. It's a white swoosh, it's not transparent whatsoever. So a solid white colour, obviously similar to the upper of the shoe. The one downside for me on this pair is the materials. Where it's not that bad, the leather, it's just not as good as some of the other recent releases. Um, I do prefer the premium leathers, as you know, and unfortunately, this is not it. Compared to the Colour of the Month pair, which dropped last year, do you remember that one? This one also had a dual swoosh as well, but it's translucent here. It did have the milky outsole as well. I think this one is a little bit better than this pair right here. Um, not just the materials, but the shape and all of that. But let me know what you think. As I said, it's preference. It's down to preference at the end of the day. We don't discriminate. We don't try and show off and think that we're better because we like different shoes. When it comes to the laces, this pair comes with the white laces. Perfect, of course, complementing that white upper. You could switch them out to a light gray lace, maybe bringing out more of that Nike Air detailing and the other gray detailing on this shoe. I think that would work. Then again, you could swap them out to whatever outfit you're wearing, colors to match. Again, it would work well. Let me know what you think. Remember, only these white laces come with this one. So if you wanna do a lace swap, you can do from your lace box. This pair fits like normal Air Force Ones. Compared to other shoes, go down half a size. Let's check this pair out on feet.
With all that being said, a decent pair in my opinion, that's why I give these a 7.5 out of 10. Nice colorway, easy to wear, perfect for summer, of course. But the materials, I've seen better. We have seen better, definitely. But let me know what you think. Remember, purchase links for these in the description. How do they compare to the cool gray, wolf gray pair? Also a jewel swoosh, recently released as well. As I said, purchase links for both in the description. Check out that Wolf Grey review right here. I've been Scopes. Thank you everybody for subscribing, sharing your thoughts. It's always appreciated. Signing out. See ya.